Hi, this is Emily Hamlin with Global Online Academy, and this is a brief tutorial for Skype beginners. So if you've just downloaded the app, this tutorial is for you if you're interested in understanding how to set up your profile, how to manage your visibility and understand the availability of your contacts, how to add new contacts, and finally how to connect with people. So let's get started. The first thing you're going to do is open up Skype and sign in. Yours will look something like this. And the first thing I do is I'm going to go to the profile piece. So I already have a profile picture uploaded up here, but you're going to click on this. Yours will probably be a little blue box. And you can add or change your picture um, by clicking on change picture below the image. And then you can select from one of these as to how you want to upload a new picture. And then just say done, and it will upload or save. You can play around with the other aspects of your profile as well, but I would argue that they're not as important as that picture piece. Let's see, the next thing we were going to cover is how to manage your visibility. So right here you can see a little green check box. That means that I'm online, and if I wanted to change that, that means that people can see that I'm online. So if I wanted to change that, um, I could change it here, or you can go up to the top bar, click this, and it's checked online. I can choose to be away, do not disturb, or I can choose to be invisible. So if I click on this, you can see that it changed my box over here, and that this is how I'll now appear to all my contacts. They won't see me as online. So if you're looking to connect with people, it's important that you stay green so that people know how to get in touch with you. So when I'm in my contacts, this is my list of contacts, and I can briefly see who is connected and who is on and offline and available for chatting just by simply scrolling down. The next thing I want to talk about is how to add a new contact. So these are contacts on this list that I've already confirmed. So when you want to go and add a new contact, because your list will probably be empty, come up to this top bar and click on Add Contact. If someone has already shared their Skype handle with you, this would be the easiest way. You can type their Skype handle right into this um, window and it will show, pop up. Otherwise, you can just search for them by name. So I'm going to search for someone by name. You can see that it's quite complicated if you don't know their Skype handle. You can get a little bit of information from where they're living um, and perhaps you can deduce who it is that you really want to connect with. And then what you do is you go over to the screen button and just press add. This is the message they'll get. You say send, yes I want to connect with this person and the request has been sent. So finally let's say they've accepted your request and you're really ready to get started now. The last thing you're going to do is go into your contacts, you're going to scroll down, you're going to click on the person you want a video call with and simple as that, start it going. And then once you're done you hang up. That is the ins and outs, the basics of Skype. So if you're interested in learning a little bit more about some of the nuances of the tool, I encourage you to watch Skype Level 2, which is the following video. Thanks a lot.